Hi folks, it's John Eisman from LastChanceAutoRestore.com. We're standing beside another one of our ground up restorations that we just completed. Um, this is a 1971 Volkswagen Super Beetle convertible. Um, we call her Martha and this is a very rare car and very desirable. 1971 is the first year for a Super Beetle convertible and it's the only year that they have the short straight up and down windshield. From 72 and on, uh, the Super Beetle convertible had a taller windshield and it wrapped around. Some people refer to it as not as cute, or this they call it a cute Super Beetle convertible. So uh, this particular car originally was a yellow car and uh, we decided to paint it Wimbledon white, which is a cream or off-white color. Um, to keep it authentic looking in terms of paint shine, we chose to go with a premium single stage paint, uh, which is more authentic, correct for that period. So it looks quite stock in terms of appearance. We've tweaked it a little bit in terms of a minor resto mod, if you will, to make it a little more drivable or a little more comfortable. So we'll just point out some of the things that we've added. Uh, we've added this little handle on the front here, the little stainless handle. Anybody who goes into the hood on the front, um, risking scratching the paint or rings or uh, nails or that sort of thing have this little cover it is removable if someone doesn't care for it uh, so we have the handle uh, cover here the the bumpers we chose to go with a triple plated chrome so it's their premium or best bumpers you can get for both front and rear um, same thing with the headlight covers we went with the triple plated chrome You'll notice we've added the eyebrows and they're the stainless steel high polished. Um, these are removable so if someone didn't care for that, uh, that eyebrow look, they're easily removable. And we've upgraded these headlights. The normal standard seal beam headlight um, is adequate but we decided to go with the, the newest headlight that's available and that's the H4. So it's the brightest halogen bulb. Um, and it's in behind the sealed beam. It's easy to remove and it's, it's much safer, much brighter, especially nighttime driving. Um, um, and, and we really like that upgrade. So if you look underneath the front hood, uh, what we've done here, we've kept it all stock looking. We've, we've tweaked it a little bit. You'll see the original washer bottle from Volkswagen for 71. Um, you can't really tell, but what we've done on the bottom here is we've added a, um, an electric pump and this electric pump, we ran a relay um, and a button in the dashboard, so it's an electronic washer as opposed to the stock system from Volkswagen. In 71, believe it or not, to use your windshield washer, um, you, would, you would push a, a, a lever and it uh, got its power from the, the air from the spare tire. So a lot of people complained it never really worked that well. Now this one being a complete ground up restoration, being convertible, I doubt someone's going to use the washer fluid that often, but if you need to, um, it's just a little bit safer, we think. And we kept the authentic look, but we have the pump that we installed in the bottom of the tank. So another thing that we've done under the hood, you'll notice on either side of the, of the, the air box, um, we've made this little cover and upholstered it. Typically all the Super Beetles would have that all exposed. You would see the back of the glove box on the passenger side and on the driver's side, you would see quite a few um, of the wiring and part of the wiring harness. So just to give it a cleaner look and then being a Super Beetle, it has a two piece upgraded carpet. So we've chose uh, the, um, the salt and pepper style carpet. So it's a two piece carpet. It covers the spare tire and also covers the gas tank. So it just gives it a little bit cleaner look underneath the front hood. Uh, we went with the authentic or classic style uh, marker lights. You'll notice down the side, we've, uh, we've done a couple of upgrades here. The largest upgrade um, is these alloy wheels. This 71 Super Beetle typically came with a, a 165 15 uh, tire and it was quite a narrow tire. Um, this particular tire, we, we've upgraded the size. It's a Goodyear Eagle LS. It's an all season radial, uh, a little bit larger in size, a little bit wider in terms of tread. And it's incredible the difference it gives you in terms of road handling and road feel. Um, the front brakes on this particular 71 Super Beetle um, came from the factory with drum brakes. And we chose to remove the drum brakes and we upgraded to a, a, a German kit which is a front disc 
uh, brake conversion. So this now has front disc brakes and larger rims and tires for more comfortable road feel and uh, much better braking overall. As we come down the side of the car, um, we have all new stainless uh, chrome or stainless trim, I'm sorry, a new chrome handle. We've added some um, fender accents here, and we've chosen the stainless steel fender guards, which actually do serve a purpose uh, from keeping the stone chips down. Uh, we've got new mirrors on both sides. We have a new antenna and new running boards. Um, the top is one of our favorite features on this car. Uh, typically when we do the convertible tops, it's quite a job on these. Uh, there's three layers. There's your material on the outside. There's a thick padding layer in the center. And then there's an interior uh, white or off-white headliner on the inside. It's quite a bit of work to do these tops, but we're very happy. This is one of the first ones we've done with the cloth as opposed to the vinyl. So it just gives it a little bit richer look in our opinion um, and it just kind of finishes off the overall look. When we open up the door we've uh, made some improvements or refinements here also. Um, these are custom door panels that we've we've done here at Last Chance to Restore. We've got a little bit of suede with leather. Um, we've changed the, um, the billet style handle is what we've added here. All the chrome is in nice shape. Um, as you look at the dash uh, the biggest thing you'll notice is that banjo uh, beige or cream colored steering wheel. That is a new feature that just came out recently. Um, instead of having the, the big large uh, black steering wheel, we'd, we wanted to go with, uh, with the beige style banjo wheel. Um, you'll notice on either side of the speedometer and the glove box is now painted Wimbledon white to match the car. Typically in 71, all of the dash was a black and the, the grills on either side and the glove box door would be a satin or a flat black. And it, in our opinion, it's a little bit washed out look. So we just wanted to kind of dress up the, um, the dash a little bit by giving it some color and giving it some color in the door panels. Um, we've reupholstered the seats. It has new burlap, new foam, and uh, the authentic German basket weave upholstery. Um, we've done a, added a stereo to it. We have an AM FM CD player. Um, I don't know if you can see it from this angle, but you'll see in the kick panels on both driver and passenger side, we've made uh, custom speaker boxes and we've got a couple of nice five and a quarter inch um, speakers in the front. And if you come around to this side, I'll just move the seat forward. You'll see in the back parcel shelf, convertibles didn't come with a parcel shelf back there and they didn't come with speakers. So that's just something that we've added. And uh, there are a couple of nice uh, six by nine Pioneer speakers. So now you have a four speaker system. Um, you'll notice you've got uh, the new headliner, new door panels and so on. Um, quite a bit of work, like I mentioned. Everything is new in terms of the visors. Uh, sun visors, mirror, um, we've got the little dual cup holder, so right underneath the stereo you'll see we've got a, a smartphone sitting in the front storage tray and it's a double cup holder that's removable. Just below the cup holder, it's a really nice feature, you appreciate it more when you drive the car. Uh, it's an aftermarket gear shifter and you'll see it's chrome with a black knob and it says MP on the side, so it's an aftermarket shifter. Um, it's taller, it's the, they call it the 15 inch shifter, so it's taller than the factory shifter. It has a shorter throw, so it, um, it's very close to your hand and you're shifting instead of going from the dash and quite a distance back towards the back seat, um, your shift pattern is quite a bit shorter. And um, it's, it's less notchy, so it just seems to shift a little bit smoother. So we like that feature, and there's three different heights of those shifters. And in the convertible, we find that 15-inch shifter seems to work out very well. Um, as we come along the side or back towards the back of the car, you'll see when we did the convertible top, we have the new um, rubber weather strip for the glass. We have the stock tail lights. We've replaced the lenses. Um, we have the correct rear engine lid and there's uh, very few people are aware of the engine lids on convertibles. When Carmen Ghia or Carmen built these cars for Volkswagen, um, the normal sedan has additional vents up into here where there's extra airflow. Um, and then on a, on a sedan or a two-door hardtop, they have additional louvers that come down here. There's about three, I believe, additional louvers on either side of this deck lid. 
in a convertible, and it's only on convertibles, they have this pattern that goes even straight across. Um, it's just a tip, not too many people know it, but anyone who appreciates Volkswagen, especially this one being a 71 Super Beetle, this is a feature that you really want to look for. You want to make sure that that deck lid or engine lid is authentic to that style of car, especially in the convertible. As I move out of the way a little bit, you'll notice once again we've got the high quality bumpers, they're triple plated chrome. Um, something that we've done a little bit different here with the exhaust is we have changed the exhaust pipes to a stainless steel uh, pipe, larger, and they have um, uh, resonators built inside, or baffles I should say, so it's a little bit different exhaust note, and I'll share the sound of this motor with you in a short while. You'll see the engine is uh, basically stock. Um, we've upgraded a couple of things. We've replaced the carburetor with a brand new carburetor. Uh, the original one was quite worn in terms of the needle and seat and linkage, so we've changed that to a brand new, uh, very good quality aftermarket carburetor. Um, we've increased the, um, the drivability of this car and less maintenance with this distributor assembly. What we've done is we've replaced the normal stock system that has points built in to this flamethrower distributor, um, which is now electronic. So it eliminates the points, so it's less maintenance and uh, runs a little bit smoother um, in terms of ease of operation. When we upgraded this distributor assembly to an electronic distributor, we've also increased um, the coil. So this is now a flamethrower high uh, voltage coil that matches or links up with this uh, flamethrower distributor for uh, a much better burn and higher voltage. We have a new fuel pump. Uh, we've done this little filler here on the side uh, with a billet look and a little chrome lid for the, for the air cleaner. So it's a 1600 uh, cc engine or 1.6 liter motor and then we've just tweaked it a little tiny bit in terms of the pistons, a little bit larger size. Uh, the nicest thing is we've got um, a little bit increased sound um, with the exhaust note. So as we come around this side You'll see once again we've got the wheels, uh, both the front and rear match in terms of size, so we upgraded them to a P195 65R15. Uh, once again, very quiet in terms of road noise, handles the road very, very well, and uh, very smooth, and, and extracts the rain if you're ever caught in the rain. So as you come down this side, um, all of the Super Beetle convertibles came with this mirror on the passenger side. The main reason why they did this is your vision is a little bit restricted with this convertible top down uh, because it sits up a little bit and it does restrict part of your visibility with this convertible top down and that's the purpose of having this mirror on this side. You'll notice the badge here. Uh, we get lots of comments and lots of questions about uh, this badge. This is the official badge uh, that was installed in the vehicles uh, in all the Super Beetles when they were built in a convertible and it's Carmen. Carmen is the manufacturer who built these convertibles for Volkswagen. Um, a lot of people make the mistake um, of wanting to put this badge on both the driver and passenger side in this front area it is incorrect. The correct badging is what you see here. This badge is only on the passenger side and it's a specific badge uh, with this star and it's different for a Carmen Ghia, the Ghia model being a little bit different style. But this is correct uh, for a 71 Super Beetle convertible to have the Carmen badge only on this passenger side. A um, couple of other little subtle things that we've done, I don't know if you can see it coming from this side, um, but this is an aftermarket feature that uh, we we're really lucky to find um, and these are stainless steel hinge covers and um, they're made of a high grade stainless steel. They're very easy to install and what happens over time is these hinges will show a little bit of wear and a little bit of surface rust over time from opening and closing. So this is just something that's a, a nice subtle little touch that we like to install when we do these restorations. So um, it actually does serve a purpose and, um, and it looks a little bit tidy there. It's one of those things you don't really notice unless it's pointed out. Um, one thing I'd like to do now is I'm just going to take a moment to show how easy it is to fold these tops down and once the, the top is folded down we can walk around the car and get a, a better idea of what it looks like with the top down. So um, basically it's very simple. Uh, there's only two handles. There's one handle with a hook on the passenger side. There's another handle 
with the hook on the driver's side. So all we simply do is uh, just flip this front and you can see how easily it does fold. And we've got the glass back window. You'll notice that it's in the right location where it folds down flat and then the top comes down. So it's very simple. Um, and then you've got the window winders. So we can roll this side down. We'll roll the front down on here. And then as we come around, there is a boot that goes over this, but to save time, I'm just going to leave this so uh, you can get a look at it the way it is. And I'll bring this window down. Now, most people, when they're driving a convertible, especially uh, at higher speeds, what they would typically do, they would fold the convertible top down, and then they would have these front windows rolled up. And with these windows rolled up, it does help with the buffeting um, or the wind turbulence as you're driving. So that's kind of a nice look like that uh, with the windows up, but I prefer the cleaner look. So I'll just put this down. I prefer the cleaner look of all of the glass being down and the convertible top being down. So you'll see as you come around this side, you'll see with the top down, your visibility is affected a little bit, um, but it's quite a smart looking car. And a lot of people suggest it's way nicer with the top down than it is with the top up. And you'll notice the contrast when you see um, we've got the off-white or cream-colored interior headliner. It matches the cream color of the car. And then we've got the black uh, housing of the frame. And then we've got the nice material here of the top. And it's accented with the door panels. So um, it's an overall look when we were building this vehicle. We kind of had a vision of, of how we'd like the different contrasts. And we didn't want to have it washed out where some people would take they make it like a bright white or appliance white car and a white roof and white interior. And in our opinion, um, it's a nice looking car, but it's kind of washed out in comparison to this kind of look. So the last thing I'd like to do is I'm just going to start the car and come around to the engine. You can hear what the exhaust note sounds like because it's not your typical Volkswagen exhaust. Um, this 71 Super Beetle would normally have what they refer to as a pea shooter um, exhaust pipes, which are quite small and they're kind of, some people will call it a tinny sound. So what we've done is we've, we've changed the sound of this exhaust um, by going with this uh, newer system that has baffles built in. So I, so I'll just start it up and I'll come around to the back. So you'll, you'll notice totally different exhaust note than would normally be in the stock needle. It's a little bit cold, it hasn't been running, so it has a little bit of a spit. I much prefer the sound of this exhaust over the stock exhaust system. So once again, this is our 1971 Super Beetle convertible. It is available for sale, um, so it's something that uh, you could enjoy today. Um, you can uh, visit our website, it's lastchanceautorestore.com, or you can email me, it's john at lastchanceautorestore.com. Thanks for watching.